Welcome back to Live with Aaron and Kelly. I'm Aaron Michael Sanchez. And I'm Kelly V. Dolan. We are here live on location, unedited. Everything is happening as it's happening. And we have a very interesting movie, Bipolarized. And I'm going to say why it's so interesting and heartfelt for me. Because for those that don't know, I grew up in a, uh, what was diagnosed as bipolar disorder, both, both father and mother. And it could be a tumultuous time. But from what I understand from you is that your film kind of goes through the journey of that because then you say you were misdiagnosed. Can you tell us what that means? Well, basically what happened was is that I was diagnosed 20 years ago, 21 years old. And what I discovered is because I just felt parts of the system were off for me. I had a psychiatrist when that happened that said, listen, you know, your life is over. You know, chalk it up. You know, get ready to live a mediocre existence. You're not going to have to take these medications for life. You know, and I actually have that doctor, that psychiatrist to thank because it lit a fire. And I got out of the hospital. Mm-hmm. And I just gave, it was just a mission for me. And I kind of, I just, I traveled the world and I looked for all sorts of medicines and I researched all medicines. And the core foundation of what I found out that worked was actually orthomolecular medicine and not hardly any of the people that know about it on the planet. Say it again, ortho? Orthomolecular medicine. Molecular yeah. medicine. Okay. Linus Pauling and then Abram Hoffer, the two people that kind of coined this and ran with it. And it's, um, it's a way to actually cure these symptoms. And where did you find them? Where, where part of the world did you find you know, this actually, particular? I went to I went to an experimental clinic in Costa Rica, okay. and this actually that's where I detoxed from lithium, and I and I learned about it there. It wasn't there wasn't a lot that was fully put together mm-hmm. there, and then I actually went to um, actually it's at a place in Minnesota right now that I'm researching more because mm-hmm. I'm in the process of after the film you know, looking towards writing a book and and just really wanted to get this information out because mm-hmm. it's it's actually really logical, really simple information. Now, now help me out is is. Does this mean that those that are all diagnosis of bipolar, either do they have bipolar or is it probably this other thing that they can supplement or they have to go through this process of finding out what exactly it is? Well, you know what? The, the symptoms are real. And as you know, if you grew yes, up with it, the, the, symptoms, real. the symptoms affect the people going through it and it affects everyone around, yes. friends, family, the one that. The one thing that happens, unfortunately, and there's like there's people like Dr. Alan Francis, who I'm not sure you're familiar with the DSM. Do you know the DSM? Diagnostic Statistics Manual. It's basically what I do now. The <laughs> disorders, yeah. Okay. So there's there's psychiatrists like that coming out saying, listen. There's, oh yes, there's, that big book that they had yes, come out with. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes. So, but basically, what's 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 not happening in Western medicine, and and I know that everyone's in it trying to help people, mm-hmm. is that when you come in, they're actually looking at you and they're just looking at symptoms, but there's no testing going on. That's true. They label it based on what you. And, and I've been there's in those. I, I've been in those. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. I've been with my parents, and they'll ask them, "What? How do you feel? What happens when this happens?" And then they tell them, and I've always, that's always, but I always wondered, is there something that you could take a blood test from or a chemical? I mean, there's so many advances now, so what well, can you do? There's interesting, yeah. So so basically what, what orthomolecular medicine is doing is actually going through a whole battery of tests. So they're doing blood work. They're testing for things like hypoglycemia, testing for things like, you know, food allergies. Like, there's so many yes. things that contribute to mental health symptoms. But if you don't actually go in and do the testing and figure it out and get to the root cause of what's actually happening, once you discover those things, then you can actually, with nutraceutical amino acids and natural supplementation, replenish those deficiencies and bring the body back to wholeness and people go on to live phenomenal lives. If somebody's out there, you know, watching, listening, or you do have a relative that may be going through something like this, how expensive is the testing? Is it something that anybody can go to or is it something that requires a lot of money to you do so? That's that's a problem. And unfortunately today, I think just because the way insurance is set up, it's only set up for, you know, Western medicine. You know, and that's that's the hard part. I mean, I was really lucky. I, I, I had the means, mm-hmm. you know, every penny I made, you know, I was training as an actor and a yoga mm-hmm. teacher. Every penny I made went into this research, and mm-hmm. it was just, it was a, just, it was a mission. Right. You know, so I, that is an important part. I think I would love to see in time, and if I could be a part of it, like just hopefully raising awareness mm-hmm. that some of this insurance money you can are, go you towards. Are, you are, you are I hope you, know, you are. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 you know, doing this testing. Mm-hmm. Exactly, because, again, I, I've lived. Be included in, if, Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, because this will, how do I put it? It, 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 if there's something that you want to be prevented in the family, yeah. it's this because it can turn a family upside down yeah. through an emotional roller coaster, not just for the person going through it, yeah. but especially those. Everyone around them. Yeah, especially yeah. those. And, and and you have in this film some of those interviews of those that were with you, right? 
You know what, there is. We t I touched on some of the things that I did alternatively that, that worked. It, it's hard because in 76 minutes it goes by really fast, yeah. and we touched on it. You know, it's, it's, it was hard to really get into the details of it. Um, but, yeah, we, we, we go there, and I think what I'm excited about, because I've seen a lot of films that kind of talk about these issues, but mm -hmm. I'm excited because I feel like, you know, I said, you know, with myself, director and producers, I said, let's make a film where we talk about these issues, you know, create more awareness, but also show people what are some of the possibilities, what are some of the solutions, you know, create some hope, because mm -hmm. I think a lot of people are so confused right now. Yes. You know, it's such yeah. a confusing well, thing. Because it, you kind of went through it, it it's like, like resonates, like you right. made this a mission to do this versus like somebody who's never been in that situation saying, oh, I want to cover this, this is an interesting topic. I mean, and, and it, it's just yeah. a point of view. Right. Yeah, yeah. In fact, in fact, just not being embarrassed by it because I right. find people that do have this don't want to talk about it. Yeah. They don't want to admit it because, and unfortunately, there is a stigma that if somebody's you know bipolar, right. then people they you know them they crazy. label them yes. as yeah, yeah crazy or, or they don't want to work with them or they feel that they're going to go off the handle. And the reality is, I mean, I, I know there are triggers that that will do with my family members, but I have to monitor yeah. those. But now. I want to get her to Costa Rica. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, there's yeah, and there's there's people that are doing this with molecular medicine, just looking them up and finding the people. The thing is, that's what's unfortunate. It does it costs money. It's out of pocket. It's not covered by insurance right now, and that's yeah. the thing that that's just the reality of where we're at right now. So, where can we find this online for those that are listening to you and can't make it out? Although you are being featured on what day? It's Sunday, 10 a.m. Sunday, 10 a.m. Come out, check it out, check yes, the film Ross out. Ross McKenzie out now. Ross. Um, you said that uh, it's what, what day is it again? Uh, Sunday. 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 Are you local to Los Angeles or no, where you're from? No, I'm not actually from okay. Toronto. Okay. Yeah. We've got yeah. a lot of Canadians here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Eh? Very cool. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry, I had to. I just of had course. to. But but how do the, do you have a website? Yeah, it's uh, www.bipolarizethemovie.com. Awesome. BipolarizeTheMovie.com. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you so very much for taking a moment with us. I want to talk to you more, okay, Because right. after, because All right. we need to go to Costa Rica together. That way I can find the place. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you. We're still here.